Hiya. Okay, so these are some daily exercises, which is all about mobilisation, okay? You're getting stuff working like that, but, and also switching your glutes on a little bit. Okay, the first two things you're going to do are two roll downs, okay? So really nice and slow, really nice and gentle. Pull the shoulders back and down, nice and tall through the neck. You're going to drop the chin to the chest, roll the shoulders forward. You're going to slowly curve your way down to the floor. Try to really roll down through one vertebrae at a time. Just go as low as you feel comfortable. Take a breath in, not too much of a long time down there, and then start to roll up. Squeeze your bum cheeks together as you roll up. Stay as curved as you can for as long as you can. Shoulders come back second to last. Head comes up last, and we'll do one more. So chin to chest, shoulders roll forward. So you're rolling through each little bit of your back at a time. Get to the bottom, split second or a breath in, hold, and then roll up. Nice and curved through the back, squeeze your bum, push your hips forward, keep your bum squeezed, shoulders back, head up, and then two upper body rolls. Interlace your fingers, drop the palms down, drop your chin to your chest, roll the shoulders forward as you reach the hands to shoulder height, then look up, keep on looking up as the hands go up too, squeeze your bum again to protect the lower back, do a nice big circle with the arms, and we'll do one more of those. Interlace the fingers, drop down, your head, shoulders roll forward, reach forward, look up, keep on looking up, squeeze your bum, Lift the chest to the ceiling, circle the arms, okay, just bring your hands on your hips, go for a little lunge, so step forward, step back, get yourself into a nice strong position, really tall through the body, we're going to sink that back knee down towards the floor, but tuck your tailbone under at the same time, so a little backwards tilt, just open up that hip a little bit more, and then stand up, pushing through that front heel, so back knee drops, really tucking the tailbone under on the way down. So backwards, tilt on the way down, and lift, four, and five. And then gently step in, and step back, and let's switch those legs over, nice big stride. Lift, tuck the tailbone under on the way down, one, two, three, four, and five. Now just step the back foot in halfway and then drop that back heel down. So you're getting a calf stretch and we'll just hold that for like 10 15 seconds. So just getting a nice stretch through the back of the calf. If you can take your foot back further, that's fine. And then after that, lift that back heel, just step it in a little bit further again, heels down, bend the back knee, straighten the front knee, and stick your bottom behind you to give yourself a hamstring stretch up that front leg. Keep the toe down at the front. You can hold on to something for balance if you want to. And again, we're just gonna hold it, getting a nice stretch through the back of that leg. If you can, lift your tailbone up to the ceiling, so a forwards tilt of your pelvis. And we'll switch those legs over. So a little pigeon step forward, bend the back knee, hinge in the middle, and again, feel the stretch up the hamstring. So again, if you can, a little forwards till, don't push it too far. Engage the centre, so lift your belly button up while you're here, just to protect again that lower back. Nothing should be pulling in the lower back. So again, if you want some support from a chair or something inside of you, that's absolutely fine. Stand up, step back a bit further and push that back heel down. So again, we're getting that nice calf stretch at the back. Okay, and again, nice little hold. Just getting things moving, yeah, moving the back, moving the glutes, getting a little stretch through all those bits that might or may not be a bit nervy for you on the time. After that little bit of stretch there, we're going to go down to the floor. So you can do a roll down or just gently get yourself down onto your mat. Okay, and then when you're down there, it's going to go for a couple of stretches. Go starting with the cat stretch that we know. So... Uh, knees hip distance apart, make sure the feet are in hip distance apart, hands directly underneath the shoulders, lift the chest. You're going to just drop the chin to the chest, float the breastbone up to the ceiling and then tuck your tailbone under, really stay as curved as you can for a little, maybe just a breath in or a hold. And then breathe out, just rolling yourself back, just that flat position. Rolling up again, you can move for a breath out if you want to, breath in to hold each position. And then breathe out to move. So breathe in to hold a position. Breathe out to move. Breathe in to hold a position. 
breathe out to move, or you just go for it nice and gently, holding each kind of split second into the stretch and the nice straight line. And after that fifth one, we're going to bring one knee up in towards the nose on the curve, and then reach that leg out directly behind you on the straight back part. So curve the back, tuck the knee in towards the nose, reach out behind you as you straighten up. And we're going to go for a three, and again it can be on a breath if you want to, but as long as the breath is kind of, you know, you're not holding your breath, you're good to go. Four. And five, drop that knee down, other side, curl the back, tuck the knee in, stretch out five, four, three, two, and one, and then come back to four point kneel. We're going to open the back a little bit more. We're going to thread the needle. Level two. So take one hand off the floor. You're going to thread it underneath the other armpit. Drop that shoulder towards the floor and reach the hand straight line behind you. And then keep on looking at the hand. You're going to take that arm all the way up to the ceiling. Same side. Thread it under. And reach it up. Five on each side. Try for a breath out to thread underneath the arm, but a breath in to lift that hand up to the ceiling. Just going to help open that chest, which in turn helps open up the back a little bit. Breathing in and breathing out. After that last reach up to the ceiling at number five, put the hand down. Just make sure you're nice and centered before you go again and the back is again feeling okay. Thread underneath the other side and then lift, breathing in. Four, and three, engage that centre, so lifting the belly button in, just making sure the back's protected with those nice abdominal connections, lovely, and then that fifth one, reach and come up. Now you've got two options for the glute stretch, you can either tuck the knee in, thread it through, and then straighten that leg out behind you, or slowly roll yourself onto your back, cross the other leg over, and pull the knee in. And you can hold whichever stretch you want to for at least 30 seconds, make sure your head's nice and relaxed. And also, as many times there as you want, do the seated glute stretch as well. Okay, every day, every day if you can, not too long.